Hey, what's up? I went to a Blaze show on Friday. They had a really good time there, a lot of cool stuff. I'm currently in the uh, hotel room. It's a Saturday night. But I'm going to show a couple things that I had purchased. I was looking for a couple knives to buy just as gifts. Not for myself, but just gifts. Something not too expensive, but, but a decent knife. So as I walked out of the aisles perusing all the knives, I was also on the lookout for something that, like I said, could buy for gifts. And I came to uh, QSP's table. I started looking at, at their stuff in there, and I found these. It's uh, QSP's Mamba V2. It's got a D2 blade by Carter Scales. So I bought two of them. Well, I played with them for a while at the table there before I decided they had a lot of choices. But look at that, it flicks open really good. It's got bearings to assist it in its opening. And uh, with it, it's got a three and a half inch blade overall that's eight inches. Like I said, it's micarta. The clip is like for a deep pocket. It's a liner lock. It seems to lock up pretty good. Got a lanyard hole. Only thing I see here, if you look at the clip, might be better if you had recessed screws in there. Otherwise, it seems to be pretty good. The blade is very sharp. Nice shine to it. It does have D2 stamped on the blade there. Like I said, this is the micarta. It feels nice. It's not really smooth, not really rough, but got a good texture to it. it feels good. This is the box that came in, and I, unfortunately, I kind of crushed the corner there, but this is the box that came in. Mamba 2, Mamba version 2. Look inside. Hang on. So, in the box, it came in this plastic wrap here. It's got uh, this little card here with some specs on the blade and the knife. Some info on the back here couple decals of course I haven't done anything to test this blade out and I'm not going to because it's not my knife but I think it will hold up just fine for just basic use and I the people I'm giving it to are not going to be tormenting it they're probably be opening letters and boxes and yes it is made in China but it actually did a pretty good job not bad a little bit of jumping there it's got very smooth action, easily flips up, not bad. So for the two blades together I paid $79.83, which I think is about the price point per blade or per knife. Yeah, which comes out to about $40 each, just under. So anyways, I think I made a good choice here just to get something as a gift to somebody. I know we're not going to abuse it, but they'll... They will use it for basic office work, I guess, guess you might say. So I think it was a good choice. Anyways, I appreciate you stopping by to check out this video. Check back for more, and be sure to subscribe.